Tonight, a woman is grieving the loss of her dog, her best friend, after she says a routine trip to the vet for the three year old Mastiff turned into anything but that. It's a story you'll see only on First Coast News tonight. On your side's Kaylee Tracy explains how this tragic incident all unfolded. Mm. It's okay. Mm. Chelsea Graham says this was her dog Draco after a routine appointment at Laurel Oaks Animal Hospital. My dog was very difficult and I understand that and I let them know that. According to vet records, Draco had been prescribed anxiety medication after an earlier visit where he was quote lunging at technicians, but the pills didn't work. Records say Draco clawed off the muzzle. Vet records also note they discussed sedation, but decided to try to restrain him instead and put a comforter over him. These are medical professionals and I trusted them and I trusted their opinion. So I said, okay, go ahead and do it. Graham says she petted Draco and watched what happened next. He was pushed into a corner where he was held down and a slip lead of the leash was led through the crack of the door. There was a vet tech on the other side of the door, but she was restraining him on the other side of the door with a leash which ultimately ended up in him losing consciousness. Vet records show the doctor got a blood sample and gave Draco his shots, then, quote, noted he wasn't moving. From the entanglement of things over his face, he was not breathing. He was carried immediately to surgery, where we began resuscitation. I was panicking. I was there petting him and comforting him. And once I realized he stopped breathing, he wasn't okay, like, Dr. Clark was like, hang on, and she was like touching his chest, and I was like, is he okay? And she said, no, I don't think so. Graham says Draco suffered brain damage and started having seizures. Doctors monitored him for the next three days. Graham reported the incident to Georgia's State Board of Veterinary Medicine and Georgia's Consumer Protection Division, saying in part, quote, I brought in a perfectly healthy dog with nothing wrong with him, and now he's dead and it's Laurel Oaks Animal Hospital's fault. Both agencies responded that they will review her complaint. We tried to talk to the vet several times, both over the phone and in person. We were told by the manager each time they had no comment saying their attorney advised them not to talk but did say there are two sides to every story. After a few days when Draco wasn't getting better, Graham says she took him to a critical care vet, Capital Veterinary Specialist. Its records show Draco, quote, presented for supportive care after strangulation. Records there say he arrived with a temperature of 108 degrees and, quote, continued to have seizures. They said if the seizures don't stop within the next four hours on the night, that they recommend putting him to sleep. Seizures didn't stop, so I ended up having to make the hard decision to put him to sleep. The critical care vet declined to comment. Graham says Laurel Oaks waived her vet bill and also paid more than $3,000 of the critical care vet bill. But Graham says there's no amount of money that can ever replace Draco. My world revolved around him. I lived by myself and like when I didn't have anything to do, I was with Draco taking him places and now I feel kind of lost. Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.